at the time of applying to various jobs or universities abroad you need to submit your cv and when it comes to europe it is highly recommended that you prepare a cv in the europass format although there are many free websites available on the internet wherein you can create your cv for free but there is a website which is free as well as it looks highly professional and at the same time it will take hardly 5 to 10 minutes to create your complete cv not only europe but you can use this cv for applying to jobs anywhere in the world also the students who are planning to study abroad to the universities in the countries like the usa canada germany uk australia and others can also use this europass format to make their academic cv so let's see how you can make an attractive cv within a few minutes So welcome to the channel guys this is Vikas and let's start Without wasting any time let us dive into the video The name of the website is Europa CV and I have pinned the link for the website in the description First of all type Europa CV in the search tab and the link which is the home link for the Europa website appears you have to click onto that link I have already logged in so I'll first of all log out from the system on the website and show you how to register for the website and then log in into it this is the page which will appear on your screen so click on create your free europass button after doing so there will be a pop up which will ask you to register for the website i would recommend you to register on the website before logging into the system because your data will be stored and whenever in the near future if you want to update your cv you can do so with your existing records So click on create an account and then uh, fill in the info which is your first name last name email id and other details you will get a, a verification email on your registered email id wherein you can set up your passport password sorry you can set up your password and then after doing so you will get your login credentials now let me show you how you can log in into the system so click on the login button and and type in your email id say next and then uh, type in your password now you will end up on this page so uh, there are many options available when you are when you are running up on this page so i'll show you how to create a cv directly so go on to the home page and uh, click on the create cv link Okay now there will be a few options available so you can resume your last cv and then also you can import your europass cv which is already uh, the pre existing cv if you have any in the europass cv format and uh, you can also start building your profile so if you want to build if, if you want to do so uh, and uh, whenever you are updating your cv you can use this profile uh, details and then create a cv accordingly i'll show you directly how to create your new, new cv So uh, let's click on the, to the create new CV button and say continue. Okay, this is the first page. This is the most basic uh, info page about yourself. The first page is the most basic page where you can write your personal information like your first name, last name, a few lines about yourself, uh, the date of birth, gender, nationality, email ID, phone number. any social media handle links or uh, the messaging links like Skype, WhatsApp and others. uh if you have any personal website uh right uh, like give the link for your personal website or your portfolio website whatever it is and that's all for the personal information page also mention your address if you want to mention it on your cv after doing so click on to the save button now you can see a tab which shows or which says that add new section so there are many sections available and according to your need you can edit it uh according to that so i'll show you what the sections are so these are the few sections like for your work experience education and training language skills digital skills then um, hobbies and interest any awards then uh, projects publication recommendations or other details so you can click on any one of them and uh, fill in the details and make your cv accordingly so in this in this video i'll show you a couple of sections which i'll fill you for you and uh, first of all it will be the work experience section so click on to the work experience section and say add the section after doing so there will be a few information they will be asking you so first will be the occupation or the position which, which you were handling in uh, in that company 
and the name of your employer or the company you are working in uh, in the city which city it was and country and uh, from what date you have started your job until what date you are you have worked into or if you are still working you can say ongoing the main activities and responsibilities which you were responsible of uh, while doing your job you can mention it over here as well and then say save now if you have more than one work experience you can just say add work experience click onto the plus, plus sign and the same details which you have earlier uh, mention like um, your name of the employer and the position you can fill it according to that uh, for the other job which you have held and that's all that was about the work experience section now uh, if you want to add a new section which is your education and training section just click on to that and say add section write in your the first one is the title of qualification awarded for example bachelor of engineering or masters in engineering whatever it is then uh, organization or the name of your university then the address of the university all the details are optional it's not recommended or it's not compulsory that you have to mention all the details over here but uh, if you have the details and if you want to um, make a details tv you can do that also i will recommend you to mention the link for the website of your university which can have a good impact onto your cv now if you have multiple degrees which you have uh, obtained uh, like in the work experience we did we added a uh, other uh, second work experience and did it according to that you can do it in the education and training section as well you just have to click onto the add education and training experience button and um, write the details okay, the next section is add is the project section in the project section you can mention your project details the name of the project and the date from which you have started doing your project until what date you have completed it other description or details about the project like all about the technologies which you have used with the project what the project was in detail and that's it you and you can save it you can also uh, mention a link for your github uh, profile i mean github uh, repository where you, you have saved your project after that uh, i'll add the language skills for example my mother tongue is marathi the other language which i know is hindi and english so um, you can write those details uh, according to your need and what your proficiency uh, is into your languages now you can add multiple more sections as well but i'll close over here uh, to show you the game and um, this is a sample cv which uh, i'll be creating now the next step will be to uh, actually um, publish the cv or to actually uh, create a cv into the pdf format before that let's let's add one more section which is the hobbies and interest section which uh, i'll be adding as reading and then um, uh, other as browsing or um, searching other like related to that surfing and all so all that i want to say is that you can add as many sections as you want depending upon your need and uh, also according to where, where you are applying for if you are applying for job then you must uh, concentrate on the work experience section if you are applying for your uh, education then you can uh, then you must uh, concentrate on your education and training projects publication yes. okay now that's it about uh, sample cv i'll say next and go on to the next page on this page you can select the template there are a couple of templates i guess there are four or five templates available from the europa tv website you can select any one of them what uh, you are liking it and um, also select the color or the font, the font size um, and other, other customization tools you can use to create your CV. In this case, I will be using this format or this template. Also, you can select the color for your CV, the text for your CV, uh, small, medium or large, whatever it is, I will be selecting media. Uh, Watermark kind of you can avoid that logo. Then add page number section if you want to. Next and write a name. 
file format will be PDF only and just save them. After doing so, the PDF or the CV will be done. You can see it how active the CV looks like and uh, so professional. Like, um, uh, it is highly recommended that you can apply this, uh, apply with the CV to any company of your choice or any university. And especially when you are applying to the country in the Europe, it is very, very recommended that um, Europa CV is must. So um, that's all for the video, guys. I hope this was informative for you and uh, you can make your CV according to your need uh, and uh, you can customize it as well. And um, that's all for the video. So I hope you like the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video. Uh, share this video to the ones who actually need it and uh, also follow me on Instagram wherein I post on for informative short content and um, you can also reach me and my team over there as well. Bye bye guys. Thank you and all the best for your future. Bye bye.